uh, presentation is divided into, out into five parts. The first is introduction. And suicide prevention centers report that in Taiwan, 45 to 70% of suicide deaths have an emotional disturbance. And at least one of the two suicide deaths meets the diagnosis of depression. Also, the Japanese government indicated more suicide deaths in a single month of 2020 than in the entire year due to COVID-19. However, with a great mobile technology and well-developed healthcare system, societies are confronted with teenagers, social media addiction, and aging problems with health but lonely elderly. Technology should be invented to generate human well-being and less barrier between cultures. In this study, we attempt to find stakeholders' reciprocal relationships. Next page. We will start to overview the current situation in, the, in this thing. Roland Paulson referred that melancholia has eclipsed the physical, physiological disease becoming the most common illness nowadays. Within a decade, the number of people suffering from depression has risen by nearly 20%, and anxiety disorders are even more common than depression. Moreover, excessive workload ac accumulates long-term fatigue for modern people while the message, message is being delivered swiftly. In an aging society, it is inevitable that elderly depression still has many potential issues which need more endeavors because the elderly have to face the physical, mental, and living changes with time. Therefore, the elderly respond more emotionally than younger people. Besides the anxieties mentioned above in society, highly competitive academic and working environments also generate anxieties among teenagers. With the pandemic, open network learning, which is kind of online courses, have become a widely used teaching method. And the advantage of online classes include no restriction to the time and places, convenience to keep records, less susceptibility to interference from others, and students being more enthusiastic about asking questions by leaving a message. And the PBL teaching method trains students' exploration, ability, independent thinking, and problem-solving skills. In recent years, due to the impact of COVID-19, PBL, which used to practice on-site discussion, has transformed to online. To face this challenge, Hong divided the PBL curriculum into three elements, including problem-oriented, project-oriented, and participation-oriented. Furthermore, this element can be supported by different software, such as Google Meet, Dropbox Paper, and Jamboard. To increase students' con concentration, some devices are and software can be used in online teaching to improve the interactivity between teachers and students with each other, like Google Jamboard, Miro, WordWall, and Slido. The device and software mentioned above are all interactive in real time, allow people to ask, answer, and discuss with each other immediately. After a brief describe of studies background, we chip into the method part. The PBL team consists of two Japanese students and three Taiwanese students to discuss common social issues in the two countries with similar social and cultural backgrounds. The process of design thinking is using the Empathy Map to find out some common problems between Japan and Taiwan. From the identified social problems, students list all stakeholders and existing problem solvers, institutions, and methods.